We know that aromatase inhibitors are extremely effective for the treatment and prevention of breast cancer. It's used for early stage breast cancer, it's used for medical, metastatic breast cancer, but we know if you don't take them, they don't work. And the main reason why people don't take their medication uh, or stop their medication early is because of side effects. Uh, arthralgias or joint pains, the most common side effect that we see with aromatase inhibitors. They occur in about 50% of women. Uh, and, you know, we're still searching for ways to control these symptoms. Acupuncture is um, a modality that has been used for a variety of painful conditions, uh, and we conducted a small study, originally a randomized trial at our institution, that showed that acupuncture was better than sham acupuncture. However, other investigators didn't find that effect, so we decided to do a large multi-center trial. Uh, we randomized 226 women to true acupuncture, uh, sham acupuncture, or waitlist control. Women got act their intervention twice a week for six weeks, and six weeks was our primary endpoint. We then looked at maintenance of the intervention, so we looked at once a week for six weeks to see if the effects persisted. And then we also evaluated women when we stopped the intervention for another 12 weeks to see how long uh, the effect would last. Uh, what we found at six weeks was that true acupuncture was better than sham, and true acupuncture was better than weightless control for our primary endpoint, which was worst pain uh, from the brief pain inventory, a validated um, instrument. Uh, it asked worst pain over the prior 24 hours. Um, we looked at uh, also the percentage of patients that had a two-point improvement on a scale of zero to 10, which is uh, a significant improvement. 58% of women in the true acupuncture arm had improvement, compared to 31% in sham and 30% in weightless control. Uh, we looked at the effects overall over the course of the 24 weeks, so the intervention and the non-intervention time. And during the 24-week period, looking at multiple measures, uh, true acupuncture was better than sham acupuncture and better than waitlist control. We also looked at other endpoints such as average pain, worse stiffness, pain in the knees, uh, and the results were consistent from measure to measure. Okay, if I could ask about the sham acupuncture, sure. how convincing is it compared to true? Right, so we um, used shallow needles. They were thinner, um, and the um, acupuncturist did not place them as deep as the true uh, needles. Uh, they used acupoints that were in proximity to their um, main uh, uh, point prescription. Uh, the point prescription was standardized, however, the acupuncturist also added based on the patient's individual symptoms. Uh, in order to uh, maintain the integrity of the intervention, we had extensive training. Uh, all the acupuncturists were licensed. They underwent um, video modules that they had to complete before um, being accredited to, to be part of the study. They had uh, on-site training. Uh, we had monthly conference calls. They had annual training that they had to do, and they Skyped um, uh, uh, with our main acupuncturist to maintain integrity over the, the study period. I'm curious if the sham acupuncture was any different from the weightless control and if then the difference between true acupuncture and sham acupuncture was significantly different to sham and weightless control. Right, so um, that's an excellent question. So at the six week end point there was no difference between sham and weightless control. Over time, um, the sham did better than the waitlist control, but didn't do as well as the true acupuncture. Uh, the main uh, side effects we saw uh, with both the sham intervention and the true intervention was grade one bruising, but the grade one bruising was higher in the true acupuncture, about 49% compared to 25%. When does someone think that you've cured cancer with acupuncture? I think the goal is to keep patients on their medication and to improve the quality of their life. 
Um, many patients suffer with side effects uh, because they don't want to stop taking their medication. Um, and other women um, don't stop taking their medication because they don't want the side effects. If we can give patients an alternative that's acceptable to them, um, many patients don't want to take a pill to control the side effects from another pill when that medication can also cause side effects. The side effects from acupuncture are a little are more modest than some of the side effects we see from other pain medications. Our hope is that this will be sufficient evidence that third-party payers will um, provide support, financial support, so patients that have these side effects can get treatment. Mm -hmm.